Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 20th, 2022. Angelsouls444.com for personal readings. I'm sitting here next to my open window balcony and there's a neighbor. <laughs> I don't think he's looking at me, but like you could see my lights through the window and I keep seeing him like looking. <laughs> I'm tempted to wave, but I don't know if he's actually looking at me. Anyway, I just thought that was funny. Because it does look weird. I have all the, these lights set up in here. There's a camera. There's all this stuff going on. So, I don't know. Anyway, let's see what we have going on for today. And comment down below how you're doing. And also, here's one too. Because we've been really going into this energy of really looking at our patterns and breaking open. We need to look at our communication as well. This line of work, of course, I get comments. And there are people who have followed me for a long time and they leave these comments that are seemingly supportive and then they always have to take one little dig right at the end. And it's something that maybe isn't even true, but still in a way makes me look bad. Like people might read into that. And that is something that we need to get a little better at. Now, people, this is very tricky because people will do stuff like that right under the radar so that nobody could accuse them of doing anything wrong. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. This would be that family member who takes a little dig at you, but it's so under the radar that the rest of the family's like, oh, you're being too sensitive. The problem is you. You're too this, that, and the other. So, you know, it's again, it's a very toxic thing, and we have to make sure we're working through that. So we have first quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation, right? So we've been talking about this. Look at things for what they actually are. So that means not jumping to conclusions, but also not going, okay, I'm just going to sweep that under the rug. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this nice harmonious balance between speaking up and setting a boundary when you need to, but not automatically just assuming, especially with strangers, just assuming that they're going to be bad people or just assuming that they're going to be out to get you. That often can come from, you know, trauma. Check with a therapist. I'm not a therapist, but uh, in my experience, I know I used to have a lot of trauma responses. I was just always waiting for the next person to do something horrible. Why is that? Well, I had been through some stuff and that was my reality and that was my perspective of reality is that people could be super evil. I saw some of the darkest things that humans could do. And so I just assumed that everyone could be a potential danger. Nobody actually cares about me. They're just trying to, you know, get this, that, and the other from me or whatever, right? And then I had to heal that. I had to go, no, that's me coming from that pain body. Let me look at that. Let me release that from my brain. And spirituality helped me get to the comfort level where I would be ready to face that. So therapy, uh, you know, has to work, you guys know, has to work with the spirituality if, you, if you're a spiritual person, I guess. <laughs> but spirituality is not a replacement for therapy. So that's why I always talk about it in that way. So each situation, if you are assessing the situation and you find, you know what, I am just taking all my anger out on this one person. Maybe they said something I don't like. Well, you know what, if they follow that one thing up with a really negative action, or they're harmful or something like that, then okay, then we got to set that boundary. But we can let some of it go. I'm not seeing, I'm not saying, again, it's all about the balance here. It's assess each situation for what it is. Don't just jump to conclusions and start giving one person, you know, the reaction that you would give, give everybody. I do have an example here. <laughs> you guys know if you follow me forever, I had this very, I would call her a dangerous uh, neighbor. You guys know the story, right? So I had, there was, she was threatening me. I want to be careful what I say here, but it was serious. Like this, the threat was very, very serious. And there was one evening where I was really concerned she was going to act on it. And uh, I ended up having to call the police. And I had these officers show up and, you know, she had done some other activity that was pretty serious, but I was trying not to get too involved. I just want, I just, I want to be safe, right? I'm not trying to get too involved here. But these officers were standing there sort of making excuses for this person they don't even know. They don't even, they're not a part of this situation. God bless them. They were trying to, I guess, do okay. They were cool guys. But like, <laughs> at one point I got really ticked off at them because they just kept making excuses for her. Well, maybe this, maybe that. And I'm, I'm just like, okay, you're not hearing me. And I just blurted it out, some of the more serious stuff that she was doing. Now, there's this whole thing with police officers where they're like, oh, yeah, okay, now all of a sudden they're this, this, and this, oh, okay. No, police officers, 
please, okay? If someone is trying not to get involved at first, they're just trying to handle the situation at hand, but you're not taking them seriously and they know something else about this person and then they tell you and then you judge them, pay attention, pay attention, don't do that. This person could have been a danger, not just to me, but to other people for other things that she was doing that I'm not gonna talk about in this video, but she was doing some illegal stuff, okay? I'm trying to tell these police officers, like, no, you don't understand, okay? <laughs> and it wasn't, they, you know, again, they were trying to be cool, but it wasn't until they went up and spoke to her that I think they saw what I was talking about and that this was a bad situation. They still couldn't do anything, but, you yeah, know, but it's that kind of thing where we get into this, um, you know, what applies to one person applies to everybody instead of looking at each individual situation. And if they were really good and intuitive, they would have known, I'm, t I'm telling you the truth here, okay? I was trying to not go there, but if you're not gonna take me seriously, you're forcing me to go there. Don't then laugh at me, all right? Ugh, I, I, don't, I don't like when police officers get on social media and they're like making fun of it. Oh, I, ooh, don't, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that, because you're not assessing every situation. You don't know all the stuff until somebody tells you all the stuff. You see what I'm saying? So again, I think that is the, um, the whole idea of taking piece by piece. And I think that's been kind of what we've been getting at this entire week. So more to come on that, I have no doubt, but we'll leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.